In some cases, you might want to have Postgres set up on your machine. It will facilitate you to explore Postgres completely without any restrictions. Let us understand how we can set up Postgres using Docker. If you are using our labs, the database will be pre-created by us with all the right permissions. We will also provide the details related to the credentials using which you connect, connect to a database or multiple databases using different users. So you don't need to worry too much about setting up the databases. However, even though you are using our labs, you might want to set up Postgres database to explore all the features from the Postgres uh, from a DBA or architect perspective. In that scenario, you might still want to have Postgres set up locally on your machine on a server which is owned by you. If you are using Windows or Mac, ensure that you have installed Docker desktop. It will look like this. On my Mac, you can see the Docker desktop icon here. On Windows, you will be seeing as part of the taskbar, there will be clock and all here. After that, there will be a up arrow. You can click on that and you should be able to see the Docker dashboard. Or you can also do the spotlight search on your Mac by saying Docker and it will actually show up. On Windows, the search bar will be here. You just start typing Docker and you will be seeing the Docker desktop if it is set up. If not, you just have to Google around and set up. Also, you can set up Docker on your Ubuntu-based desktop. Assuming that you already have either Docker desktop on Windows or Mac or just Docker on your Ubuntu, you can actually use these commands to take care of setting up the Postgres. Here are the high-level steps. You have to pull the Postgres image using Docker pull command. You have to pass the image name here to Docker pull. Then you have to create the container using docker create with all the information that is required to create the container. Then you have to start the container using docker start. Alternatively, we can use docker run which will pull create and start the container if at all the image is not available. If the image is available, what docker run will do is it will just create and start the container. If the image is available and also if the container is created, docker run will just start the container. So either you can use docker run command directly or you can uh, use these separate commands to take care of pulling the image, creating the container and start the container. I'll be using this approach so that you are familiar about the discrete steps that needs to be followed so that you can troubleshoot the issues if at all something goes wrong. You can use docker logs or docker logs hyphen f to review the logs to ensure Postgres server is up and running. I will uh, walk you through about docker logs also. once. Uh, things are set up for us. In this case, I'll be using a Ubuntu based machine. So let me connect to my server. So this is the Ubuntu based server on which Docker is already set up. I can validate by running Docker like this. You can see all the commands related to Docker. These are the main commands under Docker. Now to pull an image, you just have to say Docker pull. There is something called as Docker hub, which is nothing but repository of the images. In that hub, there is a image called as Postgres. So you can run this uh, docker pull postgres command. It will connect to docker hub via internet and then it will download the components related to postgres image and it will create a local copy of the image. Once the image is uh, downloaded into your machine, then you can actually use this image to create the container. For that you have to use command called as docker create. Now let's go to the docker create uh, command here. You can say docker container create or docker create. Uh, container is not mandatory. You can give the name to the container by using hyphen hyphen name. In this case, uh, the name of the container will be itv underscore pg. Once the container is created, we will be able to manage the container using this name. Hyphen p is to bind the port for the Postgres, which is running on the Docker container, to the port of the host on which Docker container is running. So in this case, I am running this Docker command from this Ubuntu based machine. 5432 will be the port that will be used by the Postgres that will be running on the Docker container. However, to access that from the machine on which Docker container is running, I have to publish the port. And in this case, the 5432 from Docker is being published to 5433 on this uh, Ubuntu based machine. You will understand once I set up and once I try to access it at a later point in time. Then you can actually specify hyphen h and then give the host name. So this will be the host name of the container. Docker container is nothing but a lightweight uh, machine on the host. It will be having memory, CPU and all those things along with the operating system. We can customize the name of the machine by using hyphen h. So this is the container name which can be leveraged to manage the container. Once you log in, 
if you run hostname, you will be seeing uh, this name because we are specifying that using hyphen h. If you do not specify this, it will use a system generated name. Then when it comes to Postgres, uh, there is a, a Postgres super user and we have to specify the password for that. This is how you can specify the password. The password should be a bit complicated. It should not be IT versity like this, but for the demo purpose, I'll be creating the container with this password. Make sure you use a complicated password so that no one can hack into your database and start using it for unwanted purposes. It is mandatory to give this uh, argument so that we can set environment variable called as postgres underscore password to actually facilitate us to connect to the super user from command line by using the password if at all it prompts for the password. Hyphen E stands for environment. So any environment variables can be set using hyphen E while creating the container. And then we are using postgres image to create this container and hence the image name goes here. So image name should be the last argument. However, all these arguments for name, publishing the ports, host, and passing the environment variables can be in any order. It need not pass this order, but I typically use this order. First, I will be specifying the name, then publishing the ports, then host name, then environment variables. If at all, I use all these things. Sometimes I might not use all these things. Sometimes I, may, I might use more than this. Depending upon the container, I try to use a particular order so that I recollect easily. That being said, as the container is already pulled, now we can use this command to run the container. However, if you want to confirm whether the container can be created using the image, you can actually confirm that by saying docker images. It will list the images that are pulled so far. There are only two images. One is Hello World, second one is Postgres. It is also helpful to actually understand what should be the image name that can be passed while creating the container. And this is what is used here and hence it should work. This will help us in troubleshooting the issue. Now I am running this. It will just take a bit of time to actually create the container for us. So using the image Postgres, a container is created, but it will be in stopped state by default. You can check the container state by saying docker container ps or docker ps. However, as of now, there are no running containers. By default, docker ps or docker container ps will only show running containers. If you want to see all the containers that are created, whether they are stopped or running or errored out, you can use a command called as docker ps a. A stands for all. And you can see that there are two containers which are in stopped state. Actually, the itv underscore pg container is in created state. Hello world is in exited state. Now to start this, we can say docker start like this or docker container start. Both will work. You don't need to specify container for most of the commands while managing the containers. It is optional. However, just to iterate uh, or just to emphasize that this is a command related to the container. I'm using docker container start here and then I can specify the container name. In this case, the container name is nothing but itv underscore pg and now the container will be started. To validate, you can run docker ps command without hyphen a and now you can see that the container is up and running without any issues. Now, to understand whether the container uh, is uh, running as expected, uh, you can actually run a command called as docker container logs or docker logs directly and you can specify the container name. You should be able to see the details. There are couple of extra characters I deleted those things and you can see that as of now the Postgres init process is complete and even it is started up the final line is saying that a database system is ready to accept connections as it is saying it is ready to accept the connections we should be able to connect to the database however it might take some time to go to this level if you want to see the progress as part of the logs while it is coming up you can use this additional argument called as hyphen f and you should be able to see the messages being refreshed whenever there are changes uh, happening in the container. To come out of uh, hyphen F mode, you just have to say control C and it will come out of it. Now let's connect to the Postgres that is running on our container. For that, we can use a command called as docker excc hyphen it, i for interactive and t for tty, which is primarily to connect to the CLI on the docker container. Then you have to give the container name, which is nothing but itv underscore pg here. Then you can say bash to attach to the container. You see here, I am attached to the container using username root. 
you can also see the host name here itv underscore pg the reason why you are seeing this with this specific name is because when we created the container we have used hyphen h and then we created the container if i scroll up uh, you can see the command here as i have used this hyphen h we are seeing that name here otherwise it will be a system generated name once you are attached to the container you can say pc equal hyphen capital u postgres to connect to the postgres using pc equal cli on this container this is how you can actually connect to the postgres that is running in container which is set up using docker you can come out of this and then you can say exit to come out of the container completely instead of going into the postgres using two steps you can also replace this bash with pc equal hyphen u postgres rest of the stuff is same docker exec hyphen it exec is again a container command you can also say docker container exec hyphen it for interactive and tty tty is uh, supposed to be specified to connect to any cli that's why we are using t here then the container name then the command which you want to run in this case i'm trying to run pc equal hyphen capital u postgres this will facilitate us to connect to postgres in the container directly without getting into the os level in the container instead of connecting to os level we are directly connecting to database in this case now you should be able to run all the commands such as backward slash l to list the databases backward slash d to list the tables etc and then backward slash q to come out of the database this is how you should be able to connect to the container using docker exec however you can also connect to the database in the container without using docker exec that is where the port publishing comes into picture when it comes to the command which we have used earlier to create the container if you get to this hyphen p i have given 5433 as the host port published for 5432 which is nothing but the default postgres port that is running in the container so now using this 5433 with local host because 5432 is published to 5433 on to the host i should be able to connect to the database in the container without using docker exec so i can say p sql hyphen h local host hyphen p 5433 then uh, hyphen capital u for the user uh, which is nothing but postgres if you want you can also specify the database if you have the database with the same name as the user specifying the database name is optional however if you want to specify the database name you can specify the database name like this and then you can say hyphen capital w you can only use password login while connecting from the external machine without password you will not be able to connect and hence we have to use hyphen capital w like this it will prompt for the password and when it comes to the password with respect to the postgres uh, user we have set it as environment available while creating the container and that password is nothing but itvst so you have to enter that password here and now you can hit enter and you are in the database that is running in the container from the host now using this 5433 you can even configure your sql alchemy on your windows or mac desktop and you should be able to connect to this database and perform database operations directly using sql alchemy that will facilitate you to not to struggle with p sql uh, here so this is how you can actually set up the postgres database using docker which will facilitate you to interact with database with all the permissions uh, to manage all aspects of postgres so you can actually practice not only a typical development type of activities but also other activities with respect to postgres if you have your own container with postgres running in it so you have a full blown postgres database running in a container which can be leveraged to practice all aspects of the postgres if at all you it is required you set it up if not ignore it and just move forward